All right, I'm here with Anthony Giuliano from the Asher Agency, former Ruoff customer. And uh, it's interesting, he's here talking about LinkedIn. So tell, uh, tell the people how you found me and how we did business together. Yeah, well, I was sitting at home one day and my wife and I finally you know, took the bait that we needed to refinance. But I wanted to work with someone I trust, someone I know. So my default was to go to LinkedIn. And I searched really two simple things. I looked for the word mortgage in someone's profile and a zip code, uh, Fort Wayne zip code. And Chris's was the only name that popped up. I, I just love that. And that for me was the moment when I asked you, how did you find us? Yeah. Search link, uh, LinkedIn. I thought, wow. <laughs> I got, I got to get serious about this. Yeah. So you were just putting on a presentation uh -huh. about LinkedIn. This thing you talked about uh, profile optimization. What's your thoughts on that? Well, I think a lot of people, when they use LinkedIn, they think the key to success is having a optimized profile, a profile that says exactly who they are and what they do. Um, and the problem with that is that's a passive approach to LinkedIn. Like anything else, I think LinkedIn is really dependent upon putting in some effort. Getting, you're only going to get out of it what you put into it. Yeah. And you have to do things like status updates. You have to be willing to request and give recommendations. And going back to the example of how I found you, if you weren't someone who I had trust in, then I wouldn't have pursued it. But because you're an active person, and again, it's not just about LinkedIn. It's about LinkedIn being a reflection of who you are in the real world. Mm -hmm. And as someone I know and trusted, I picked up the phone and said, all right, let's do business together. And last question, put you on the spot a little bit. If, if a, a loan officer, if they had just five minutes a day to spend on LinkedIn, what would those five minutes look like? I think the best use of that time would be to update their status once a day um, by sharing whatever is most compelling about their work or sharing industry knowledge that's helpful to prospective customers. It's, it's all about being a resource to your connections. Well, does it prepare. have to be their own, like a blog post? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. In a heavily regulated industry, a lot of times it's better to share something that's been published because you know it's solid. It's you know it's not going to get you in trouble. So a Forbes article yeah. or yeah. a realtor.com yeah. post. Yeah. Well, the reason it's important to update your status is that you have to be visible for people to think of you, remember you, and know what you do. If you're consistently putting out status updates that make you conspicuous, they can't help but see you. Every day? Every day, once a day, no more than once a day. Um, and it could be as little as once a week, but remember, you get out of it what you put into it. Yes. All right, Anthony, thank you so much. Thanks, Chris.